Baltimore holds a special place in American history, but it's really a tale of two cities, Baltimore, and to the south, Curtis Bay. Curtis Bay and the Curtis Bay region has been dumped on for decades. People have been pushed out of their communities by developments that don't care about our basic human right to live in a healthy community. Destiny Watford is a 20-year-old college student and Curtis Bay native. For decades, the area surrounding her neighborhood had become a toxic nightmare of heavy industry, coal transport, and incinerators. It has some of the highest concentrations of pollution in America. Back in 2012, we found out that there was a plan to build the nation's largest trash burning incinerator less than a mile away from our high school. 240 pounds of mercury per year would have been released, 1,000 pounds of lead. This type of air pollution contributes to cardiovascular disease, respiratory illnesses, and in some cases, exposure to diesel exhaust has been shown to affect children's cognitive development. At just 16, Destiny embarked on a mission to stop the trash burning power plant. Hi, it's Destiny Watford. Which is being sold as clean renewable energy by the developer. Yeah, it's great, it's great coverage. Her group, Free Your Voice, began the campaign by going door to door. I've always been a bit shy, <laughs> but when I joined the group, I was really challenged to come out of that comfort zone. And I went up to this man's door and I told him about the incinerator. He just said, what you kids are doing is pointless. Curtis Bay is and always will be a dumping ground and you're not going to change that. And it was a disheartening moment, but it also lit this sort of fire. And so Destiny and students in Free Your Voice said, let's do a march that starts at our high school, and let's march directly to the site. It was something about that moment, about realizing that if we're going to do this, then we have to build relationships. And we have to reach out to our local government. So when we found out that the Baltimore City Public School System would be buying energy from the incinerator, we decided to have a presentation at the school board. Destiny and her group also appeal to other incinerator customers. Our fate as a city, it involves everyone. To convince them to drop plans to buy energy from the company. That our system is failing us and our planet. Ultimately, 22 customers listened, heard the voices of the community, and agreed to cancel their contracts, eliminating the financial incentive for the company to move forward. It was a remarkable victory, but Energy Answers still holds a lease to the proposed site. The Maryland Department of the Environment, they have this opportunity to pull the incinerator's permits, which means that they couldn't legally construct. So, today is a day of justice. Enforce the law! Enforce the law! We've rallied together to say that we want positive alternatives in our community. This could be the site of the nation's largest trash burning incinerator, or it could be the site of the largest solar farm on the eastern seaboard. My family lives here. And I don't want their future to be one where a massive incinerator is a priority instead of their health. For outstanding environmental achievement for North America, the 2016 Goldman Environmental Prize is awarded to Destiny Watford, Baltimore, Maryland.